In this video, I'm going to model for you how to multiply with polynomials. I'm going to be using these algebra tiles. Uh, first, just to introduce them to you, these ones, uh, these green ones are positive one. We have a gray colored with a negative. That These are going to be negatives. So all the gray tiles will be negative numbers or variables. and um, this x, this rectangle, is a positive x. Here is the negative x. And then we have um, these positive x squared or a negative x squared. Okay, so these are the tiles we're going to be working with today. And while I'm doing these problems on the side, I'm going to write them out and show you how uh, you know, how to do the work mathematically uh, instead of just relying on models. The models, again, are for conceptual development, but we're going to be moving away from models and working just with numbers um, as we go on. Okay, in this uh, problem here, I have x plus 2. This would be considered a binomial. If I multiplied this by, say, 1, 1 times x plus 2 should give me x plus 2. So the way I would show it as a model, 1 times x is x, and 1 times 2 would be 2. And so our answer in this problem would be shown in this middle section of the map. And so I'm just going to go ahead and write out that problem. We had 1 times x plus 2, and if we distribute that 1, that's going to give us x plus 2, and that's what we've got here. Let's look at another type of problem. Let's say we have x times x plus 2. So instead of a 1, I'm going to put an x. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. That's going to be x times x plus 2. Now, x times x is going to be x squared. And x times 2 is going to give you two x's. And so, and so we're going to have an x here and an x here. So in, our answer will be x times x, that's x squared, and x times 2, that's going to be 2x. And that's what we have. Let's go ahead and look at some negative numbers. Let's say we have a negative x instead of a positive x. So negative x times x plus well, a negative times a positive will give you a negative, and x times x is x squared. So we have our negative x squared. And our negative x times 2 means we'll have negative 2x. And if I were to write that out, negative times a positive is a negative, x times x is x squared, negative times a positive is a negative. Let's go ahead and now multiply a binomial by a binomial. And I'm going to use positives first. Let's keep our x plus 2. And in our second one we'll have x plus 1. So here we have x plus 1 times x plus 2. And let's see what kind of answer we get. We're going to start with this first term within the binomial and multiply it to each part. Then we're going to take this term and multiply it to each part. 
So x times x is x squared, and because they're both positive, this will be a positive x squared. x times 2 means we'll have 2x. 1 times x means we're just going to have an x. And 1 times 2 means we'll have 2. If you notice here, we have an x squared, three x's, let me move this up, so x squared plus three x and then two plus two. Now, in another video, we're going to learn how to do this type of problem using a method called FOIL. The example that I showed you here, a binomial times a binomial, is, uh, is just a model. We're not going to be using models, um, so there's a trick called FOIL, and we'll go over that in another video. But this is just an example of what we're doing. We're multiplying the terms within each polynomial to the other terms within the next polynomial to get our final product or our final answer.